I, I have actually here a little bit of information from uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, so, uh, uh, so we've got some information here. We've got 200 watts into uh, 4 ohm, 430 into 8 ohm, and then um, these got absolutely uh, really low distortion. Those, it's got measurements here, um, and it's got absolutely super low distortion. And I have to say, I've got little, I've got actually a little review here to, to tell you about. Oh God! Uh, because I've got also a tube amplifier, uh, Macintosh MT75, which is about I don't know four, four and a half thousand pounds, depends on tubes uh, amplifier, which is I would say quite expensive. And I've got it connected to uh, balanced XLRs, and I've got Tano Sterling uh, speakers, and so uh, with uh, SD200, uh, uh, I've got a Super Tweeters, which is another four and a half thousand pounds. So I can kind of compare uh, fairly high. End. So uh, the, the main differences between those. That, that little review between Macintosh MC275, which fifth generation, and, and these hyper solid state amps is that um, that uh, the high price um, compared to Macintosh is coming from much greater depth, but um, but uh, more precisely and kind of like from one one further distanced source and. Um, uh, with, with some certain music, Hyper Hi is, is creating effect that um, that you can hear actually instruments coming from behind your chair. I have soundproofing and uh, diffusers, so I've got fairly good acoustics in my room. It's fairly flat and it, it gives you really goosebumps. Uh, it's really a great 3D effect. It's uh, but on the other side, right? Tube amp will. You'll fill up room uh, with music a little bit more, but uh, but location of instruments is not as clear, and um, tube also is like a warmer sound. So he, those who prefer warmer sound for folk and vocals probably pr prefer that. But um, I would say amount of micro details is, is pretty much the same. And and the, the, the tube amp is adding a bit more reverb, but where these uh, solid states absolutely excel, which is like a, I don't know, 500 euros uh, modules. You can build it for I don't know, I don't want to say with enclosures, with you cheap, some cheap enclosures and, and, and everything. You can build it in for I don't know, you don't want to lie, 800 pounds, maybe 700 pounds. But uh, these will beat your 5,000 pound amplifier with ease, I bet. Because I was really surprised how how good they are for for DIY. Because they um, where they excel is that with chamber music, big orchestras, drumming sessions, or of generally generally the music. I have to say they are absolutely beating anything we could compare it to. We compare it to Primar, some monoblocks. Uh, they've been absolutely. Uh, beaten by these and we compare it to a Bel Canto Class D which was really nice but it was lacking detail compared to these so I have to say these are superior to the others and I'm not not uh, not lying now I don't have really reasons to say anything like that so uh, it's really really fast bass really nice sound alright but comp I don't say that tubes are better or this is better it's really up to uh, up to uh, people's like choice and on tastes.